Yet somehow Daisy managed to bring some light into the world. A perfect, innocent baby whose name is Lucy. I'm sorry. You know, what Daniel did by bringing Lucy back to us was the best thing in the world. I know, he's your hero. Yeah, he's my hero. Oh, I think I just heard him take off, too. Well, maybe he's working on some more hero points. He's going to bring us back a pizza. 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 But while Lucy's mother... See, look, she's doing it again. She's doing that lip sucking like she's sucking on her bottle in her sleep. Mm -hmm. so sweet. She is one cute kid, she's speaking objectively. So Close the door. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm gonna get it. Go get the door. I'm, good. I'm getting it. I'm getting the door. Shh, be, be quiet, because she's sleeping. Hey, what were you thinking? Well, take it down a little. Lucy's here? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Come on in. She's here. It's wonderful, isn't it? Daniel moved in with her last night, so Lucy's home. Daniel and the baby. They live here now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong? We're not breaking any rules. Daniel has interim custody, and this was his idea. Oh, really? It's just, it's that simple, is it? <sighs> you know what? I didn't see anything. All right? Works for me. Why are you here? Uh, because Restless Style broke the gag order, Billy. You didn't think that I'd notice wait, that? Come on, man. Wait a minute. Hold on, man. No, no, no. I, I've been here in my happy home for the past 24 hours. I haven't done anything. It's true. I mean, we haven't seen anything in the press about Lucy or the custody or anything. Okay, well, then you might want to check out Phyllis's latest blog. I'm sorry that we put you in the middle of all this. You've been nothing but generous to me and Billy. Thank you. My mom just thinks she has all the answers, you know? Thinks she knows how everything should be. All she really is is just a brat who wants what she wants when she wants it. Yeah, well, I think she's just, uh, she's trying to protect your future with Lucy. She would happily cut me out of the equation. I think she's willing to lose a son in order to gain a new daughter. Daniel. Wow, well, look at you. I don't need to hear anything from you. I heard it all from Daniel, okay? But I must say, I'm impressed. You got your little team. And you got your sweet little setup. And I'm sure the judge will be really impressed with it. You know what? I've had it with your greed. And your entitlement. And how you proclaim that you're going to be such great parents to Lucy. Good for you. Because I'm sure that's why JT has full custody of Reed. And Delia is with Chloe. I just have one thing to say. You're fired. You can't fire me. I built that magazine. Well, sweetheart, I own that magazine. You're just an employee. Or should I say former ex as a no longer working there? Wow, look at you. Billy Abbott and his worldwide domination tour. Good for you. That's great. You stole my son, you stole his daughter, and now you're basically stealing my job. But you feel good about yourself, don't you? 
You just fire people without any cause just because you want to be a daddy. No cause, Phyllis. You defied a judge's gag order. You put Restless Style on the line when you published that story about Lucy. Nobody told me about a gag order. Nobody let me know. I, I don't have no to tell you there was a anything. Order. Listen to me. I don't have to tell you anything. This is my magazine. You work for me. Your job is... Was? To run content by me. You didn't. Because there's no way in hell that I would put my daughter's face out there for the world to see. You, who claims to want to raise her better than me, did. And because you did that, I am compromised. You are unemployed. Do not come to the office. I will have all of your belongings boxed up and delivered here. Mm, interesting. I love that little girl. I love her mother, Victoria, and you are messing with the happiness of my home. So you stay away from my house. You stay away from my office. And you stay the hell away from my child. running into you? Yeah. No, thanks. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey. To drop by without calling first. Did uh, Lauren read Phyllis's blog? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. And so begins the people mom ticked off today convention. You're Phyllis's friend. What the hell is wrong with her? Yeah, well, I'm the friend who dropped her case. So I'm a little out of the loop as regards to her reasoning, but I... I... I did want to check in with you uh, before I decide if, when, and how I'm going to approach Phyllis about this. Have you spoken to her? Phyllis no longer works for Restless Style. So, uh, there's that. But, hey, you know how the web works. That blog's going to be out there forever. Yeah. Out there forever for Daisy to see. Is Lauren afraid that she might try to see the baby in person or fight for custody? Honestly, I don't know how Lauren feels. I really don't think she knows herself. Um, but I'm afraid that uh, when it sinks in what Phyllis has done, all the progress she's made, it's, it's going to be gone. Daisy incites only rage and disgust in everyone she meets, while Daniel Daniel is clever, artistic, loving, protective. As lucky as I am to have Daniel as a son, Lucy is even luckier to have him as a father. Me, I vote for nurture. I predict Lucy will grow into a warm, caring, kind young woman because she'll have Daniel in her life and because she'll never know the despicable creature whose one decent act was to give this child away. Lucky, lucky Lucy. <laughs> <laughs>